All right, well, we're going to get started here. Um, this is how far. We're just going to look at the introduction, and then this also serves as... You'll play this several times throughout the song, but this is how far we're going to get. I'm just going to play through it, and then we'll break it down and take a look at what's happening there. We're going to go this far. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's take a look at the left hand first. Even though we're in the key of G, we're starting on a C chord and on the note C here. So here's middle C. And I want you to find octaves below that, right here. And here's what's happening. You're going C, E, D, B, G, B, C, E, D, B, G, B, C, E, D, G, D, G. Let me play that a little slower, but take a look at this. This has got kind of a syncopated rhythm. So the counting on it, for those of you who like to count, okay, it's like this. Let's slow it down here to like one and two and three and four and, okay? So we come in right here. It goes one Three and four. It's one and two. Three and four and two. Three and four one. All right, so it's three and and. So it's one and two and three and and. So it's the and of four. That syncopation throws a lot of people off. So one, three and and. And then the next part comes in on the and of three. So it's one, two, and three, and, and, and four, and, okay, and four, and. So take a look at it slower. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Three and four and and four and okay so you see how we are coming in on off beats instead of on beats the one two three four are your on beats the one and two and three and the ands are the off beats so Okay, one more time, take a look at that. One, two, three, four. And then when you come down to your octave G's, you go G, D, G. So here's the whole line a few times at reasonably slow motion for you. time and then I'll show you the right hand now 
what I think makes all this work a little easier is that in the right hand you're playing eighth notes. You kind of have like a little subdivider up here. The right hand just kind of going. See, so, so what are we doing? You're going to take, um, here's your middle C. You're going to take octave G's, one with your thumb, one with your pinky. Now, you can do this however you like. I, you're playing an E with it. It's a three note chord, G, E, and G. Okay? Now, I like to do it like this, with my ring finger on E. Some people prefer to do it like this. I think that puts a little more strain between here and here than is really worth it, but so I like to do it here. I think this is the cleanest fingering. And you're just playing on eighth notes. One and two and three. Okay. Okay, so it's one and two and three and then on three and you're not actually going to a full D chord but what you're gonna do is play D and F sharp with your G so it's one and two and three and Underneath that, you've gone. Or excuse me. Now, truth be told, if you slip up and you play the D chord instead of leaving your thumb on G, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Okay, it really isn't. But I believe my ear tells me there's a little. Uh, dissonance there. Because that becomes more like a G major 7th chord over a D basically, but that's inside baseball. So just know it's not a problem if you slip and go. But the most correct way that my ear tells me is here. Okay, now from there, so it's one and two and three and four. And you kind of hold that. One and two and three and four and three and, so it's three and four and. So this is held for an entire beat, except it's the last half of one beat and the first half of another. So one and two and three and four. And then you just form a G, uh, what we call a G5 chord, which is G and its fifth, which is a D, and another G here. So bum, 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 bum. So the rhythm is one and two and three and slow. Underneath that, watch the two hands together here.
my hands all contorted. Take a look at it. Okay, now from there, your right hand goes like so. See, you're playing a G with your pinky twice. With your thumb, you play a B with the G. And then a D with your index finger along with the G. So it's like this. So we've gone. See how that works? Ba bum. And that matches up underneath here with. Okay? So we've gone like so. Watch that again. One more. And again. And then you're right back to here. Okay, now here's a little tip on what's going on with the right hand. You can just basically play if you're if you switch up you can play eighth notes pretty much all the way through you don't ever have to do the little deals where you see how I'm going ba 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 occasionally if you want to you can go See how I'm saying? You can just play eighth notes all the way through because I think what tends to happen is there's not really a by rote here. There's playing I think sometimes I do play all the way through eighth notes and then sometimes I'll do these because it adds but you want emphasis on those parts see bum 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 So what you want to do with your right hand is you want to make sure you emphasize when the at the times that the left hand is playing. So bum, ba bum, bum, ba ba bum, ba bum, bum, ba bum, bum, ba bum. And one of the ways that you can emphasize it is to stop the eighth notes for a second. You know, bum, ba bum, bum. That's one way to do it. Or you can just keep playing the eighth notes all the way through and just make sure that you attack a little harder when you get to those sections. Bum. Ba bum. Teach you that part in a second, but that's so your right hand very well can just go one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two three. Da, da. Okay, 
So, but just remember, it's a little bit tricky because of those syncopations. You start on the count one, because we start on one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and four and three and. So, it's kind of, it's a little bit tricky because when you first start the song, you're playing one and two and one and two and three and. But as you keep playing it, you know, the first time through, it's one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two. And so see, it comes in on the and of four later on. So that's a little... Just a little syncopation. Bum, ba bum, bum, ba dum bum, ba bum bum, ba dum bum, ba dum. Okay, so let's take a look at this after we've gone through our final bum, ba dum. What are we doing? The right hand now, while the left hand goes G D G. Your right hand goes like so. It's G and B together. Bottom. So it's a G and B together, then C, A, and then back to G and B. Bottom, ba bum. Bottom, ba bum. So it looks like this. We've come out of here. Excuse me. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to play the whole intro kind of in slow motion all the way through a few times for you. And then um, I'll do it once or twice without my hands all contorted up so you can see what they look like when I'm just playing normally. And then we'll move on to the next section. So we're going like so. Ching, 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 ching. time. 